The two main questions around the Mets after the Game 1 loss to the Dodgers were, why did Kodai Senga start the game, and can they start Kodai Senga again in this postseason? So the first question, look, Sean Mania would have been on regular rest. Luis Severino actually would have had a couple days extra rest. But this time of year, it's tricky with all the innings on those guys' arms, the high leverage intensity they've been pitching so far in the postseason. And these decisions are made in consultation with the training staff, the coaching staff, the players themselves. And the understanding in the team here, on the team side, was that both of those pitchers could have used the extra day. The Mets did like what they saw from Senga in Philadelphia, although the scouts following the postseason didn't love it. They thought that even after that Kyle Schwarber home run, Senga nibbled a little bit, was a little tentative, wasn't attacking. Obviously, we saw that even worse in Game 1 against the Dodgers. The Dodgers don't chase like the Phillies did. Senga did not have life on his pitches. He didn't have the velocity. He didn't have the command. He really didn't show the Mets much to suggest that it would be a good idea to put him out there in Game 5, if there's a Game 5. We'll see what they decide. They haven't committed to anything yet.